So a string of Chinese economic data this morning. It was a miss uh, that combined with coronavirus headlines resurfacing, really taking financial markets lower this morning in a sell everything moment. Uh, we do get U.S. and Canadian manufacturing data later today, uh, but tomorrow things start to pick up for the economic calendar. That's because we get our first of the main three central bank announcements this week. The Bank of Japan expected to keep rates on hold at negative 0.1%. We also get U.K. employment data. We've got ZW economic sentiment figures for the Eurozone and its manufacturing powerhouse Germany. And for the U.S., we get retail data. Now, uh, last week's uh, dovish Fed talk uh, kind of put the kind of caused financial markets to reassess risk appetite. We do have the Fed's Powell testifying again. That will be day one. Day two is going to be on Wednesday. Uh, there's also going to be out of the U.S. EIA's oil inventories estimate. Um, now, it's, so far, we've been seeing some mixed results when it comes to May and June, not like those big surpluses that we saw back in April before the OPEC plus uh, output cut had been agree had been enforced. Uh, we also get uh, U.K. and Canadian CPI data. And when it comes to Thursday, it's a big day for Europe. And that's because we get two main central bank announcements. We've got Swiss National Bank as well as the Bank of England, both expected to keep rates on hold. Uh, but when it comes to the BOE, they're expected to increase asset purchases. We also have the, the European Council uh, meeting, which is expected to debate the uh, coronavirus recovery fund, which needs unanimous approval. There's also going to be unemployment claims out of the US expected to show another million plus figure, but lower than the week before, and uh, Australian uh, unemployment data as well. Uh, lastly, on Friday, we've got the Bank of Japan's minutes and CPI data there. Um, but when it comes to the US, uh, a key one is going to be Baker Hughes' US oil rig count. Show it showed another consecutive decline last week. Expectations are for an eventual recovery, given the fact that oil prices have at least partially recovered. There's also going to be UK and uh, Canadian retail data. And uh, for those of you out there that are trading the pound, Brexit talks are, talks are set to resume this week.